Uh, does anyone have any questions on worms? In everyone know how to look how worms appear in stock? No, not sure. Um, so barber's pole, that's homonchus. Um, barber's pole, pretty much it causes anemia and they'll be um, dull and depressed and lethargic. And black scale worm, that's pretty, um, pretty obvious. So barber's pole is normally a summer sort of a worm and black scour and, and brown stomach are more winter worms, but it can vary. So um, it's a good idea to do worm testing and stuff like that. But yeah, just um, give us a call. Yeah. Yeah, three weeks. Three weeks usually. It depends on the worm and their life cycle, but usually after the good break in with a bit of rain, I'd be worm testing um, your sheep in th three weeks after, three to four weeks, um, to see whether you've got a decent worm burn, uh, burden and you need to drench. So some signs are, are pallor, so being being pale. Um, sometimes with barber's pole, they'll get bottle jaw, so fluid under the jaw. And um, that's scouring in the bottom right there, but you can see the difference in colour. I tend not to go on the gum colour as much. Um, if you could just go to the next one. So I, I do this test, which is actually called a Fermatia score. There's a, um, a link there if you want to have a look at it. This is the best way, um, just visually speaking, of, of having a look at the worm burden for barber's pole. Doesn't work for black scour worm or brown st stomach worm, but it does work for scour worm and anything else that causes anemia. So Eovis is another one if you've heard of Eovis. Um, so they've got a third eyelid, you just push the eyeball back into the head and wait for that third eyelid to come across and you can see the colour of it. So if, if that eyelid is very pale, or that inner eyelid, sorry, just in here, if that's very pale, um, it is go a good indication they've got a, a high worm burden and, um, and you should give us a call or give your private better call and have a chat. Worm Boss, if you haven't been on that, please write that down, that um, website. It's got everything you would ever need to know about worms, drenches, how to prevent resistance, um, doing worm tests and things like that. So it's just wormboss.com.au and there's ones for flies and other parasites and well, as well. But the Worm Boss is fantastic, so definitely jump on there. They've got really good guides about whether you want whether you need to drench or not um, depending on your your area so